Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Julian Marquez interview game show. Good questions, get an answer. Bad questions, we'll get a buzzer. First up, we have John Morgan. Let's go. <laughs> wow, I feel so on the spot now. Well, Julian, there's only one place we can start with you, of course, and that is Miley Cyrus. We have to get the update. You know, nobody... Nobody wants to talk about anything other than the fight. They need to know what's going on with you and Miley Cyrus. Everybody always wants to know, and this is the thing. We've talked. Um, I've asked her to come to events. She's down to come to events. She's got to get her schedule there. She's a busy girl. She just signed new contracts. Uh, she's making new music. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but, and honestly, we're both going to just be friends. I'm not looking for a relationship. I wanted to get a Valentine's, and that's what I did. It was amazing. It did what it did. But... My heart, my achy, breaky heart is not broken. But I will tell you guys this. ABC needs to hook Julian Marquez up with a UFC bachelor. I think you all would tune in. You would love it. You love the personality. You love the excitement I bring. I'm just saying, we have ourselves a network televised fighter that is able to produce the greatest show of all time. Plus, all the other bachelors are just like they're boring, you know? I'll bring excitement. I'm in. Sign me up. You took some criticism for the way you handled the Miley thing last time. Did you, do you feel like, in, in, in retrospect, maybe you played it wrong? Hell no. Do you remember when I told you on our last interview? I said, doesn't matter if I stood up here with this colored T-shirt or just a different one. Someone's going to hate me for not wearing a sweatshirt. You know, and that's what it is. I did what I needed to do because I believe that was the correct answer for me. I like it. We'll talk about the, the performance you had last time, man. Obviously, it was a, a big moment for you, right? All the build up to it and all that. What, what, was, what was the feel for you afterward? Man, everything with that fight was, was amazing. You know, I got time in the octagon. I came back. I had an exciting performance. I had a huge comeback win. But it just shows that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have no quit in me. From bell to bell, I'm going after it. And that's what I did. I, I was pumped to get that submission. I was pumped to get that victory. I was pumped to get the, the media push that you guys gave me. You know, I stole that whole entire card. You know, we had Usman Burns, and Usman's arguably one of the best welterweights to walk this earth, and I stole all the shine from that night. And it's just because of who I am, and that victory just, it was amazing to justify that 31 months of, you know, that hardcore pain and sorrow I went through. and. It's amazing. Fortunately, you didn't have to wait that long this time, right? So the quick turnaround, was that key to you? I mean, were you, were you bugging the matchmakers and saying, hey, man, get me in there ASAP? No, not at all. It was just uh, the opportunity presented itself, and I jumped on it. Uh, I sat there, and I, I've been into camp since last June. You know, I was supposed to fight August, November, then February, then now. Like, I haven't stopped training. We don't stop there at Glory MMA Fitness in Lee Summit, Missouri. Like, we're here to, to make statements, we're here to put in the work, and we're here to, to capture the results. And that's why when this opportunity presented itself, the very first thing we did, Jason House called up uh, Mick, said, you know, unfortunately Zach is out, but we have Julian to replace him. And he's like, all right, so that's how we are. Nice. What do you think about the matchup itself? I mean, obviously it's a guy that's been around for a long time, got a little bit of a name. Do, do you like the matchup? Absolutely. Like, look at this. Think about it. Sam Alvey, who doesn't like to wrestle and likes to throw hands, against Julian the Cuban Missile Crisis Marquez. Got to look over at my boy Vance because he hates when I talk about myself in third person. Is about to throw ginormous nuclear bombs, and Sam's going to try to do the same thing, but I'm way faster, stronger, and I want it way more. Nice. Should be exciting. Last thing for me, let me ask you. I mean, obviously, you know, you know what the story was last time. It was, it was building back to everything, all that you went through. And now you're just kind of back in the mix again, right? So, so what's the goal? I mean, are we talking about contendership or is it more about outside opportunities like The Bachelor and things like that? I mean, what's, what's the goal here for you? Man, the main goal is to make sure my life is taken care of from start to finish. When I came in here, I wanted to be a champion. When I was injured, I wanted to be a champion. When I came back, I wanted to be a champion. And that's the same thing I'm doing. But at the same time, you have all these fighters that are pissed off about, you know, all these, like, sponsorship deals. Oh, we're not getting this. Most of these guys don't know how to market themselves to build their name to where a sponsor will give you money. 
And that's the thing is that I'm trying to build my name so these sponsorships can come my way outside of the Venom deal, which, by the way, that apparel is freaking amazing. It's absolutely stunning. It's bright. I literally am walking out with red shorts, and I feel like the Red Power Ranger, and I feel like my childhood heroes. Like I'm an action-packed fighter. I'm a Power Ranger. I'm going to sit there with a Power Ranger stance, and I'm going to save and defend Earth from Sam Alvey, the evil person. I don't even know his name right now. I can't even think. Nobody's ever called Sam evil. He is evil. <laughs> Sam tries to play these games. You know, he tries to be nice and all this stuff. And, like, you could see right through it. He's trying to buddy-buddy so you won't do this. Ah, man, look, outside of the game, you know, we can be cool and cordial. We're fighters. I respect them. But when we get locked up in that octagon, I'm here to fuck you up. You're trying to take my paycheck. You're trying to take my my stardom. You're trying to take something away from me. You're trying to physically harm me. Now, I'm going in there to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm going in there to be giving that that type of, you know, energy, giving that type of performance. So I'm going out there to fuck you up, and that's it. What would you say to the people who think that the green Power Ranger was superior to the red Power Ranger? Man, look, I don't care as long as you like Power Rangers. That's the thing. We can rock together. We're all on the same team. You know what I mean? We're on the same team. We all have just different color uniforms. That's it. But at the end of the day, we're on the same Power Rangers squad, and we're defending this world from evil. Uh, just wanted to circle back to some of the things you said at the beginning of this uh, media scrum. When was it that you realized that you and Miley would prefer to just be friends rather than a romantic couple? Well, I, in all honesty, like, there's no way I want to be in a relationship at this present moment in time because I'm building my own empire. Um, and I've talked to her, everything. Like, I don't know why everyone sits there and thinks that it was like a dumb idea or they're mad about the response I had. I think it, it's better because if I would have did what she asked, then I would have been no different than any other annoying person out there that would normally do that. And she's like, yo, I'm not going to talk to this guy because he's going to show up at my house at 3 o'clock in the morning with a bump box sitting there playing never, or what is it, never say anything, John Cusack style, just like, yo, those are creepy people. The people that would shave something or do something for, like, a female like that, like, would alter their body because a girl asked you to go out on a date with her. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to – come on, man. She's not that hey, cool. Focused, you know? So I just sat there and was like, all right, you're having fun. I'm having fun. Boom. Let me throw this joke at you. You know, I use my, I use my time on ESPN, on pay-per-view. I use my time and my starlight to shine with her. So we shine together and it worked out for, uh, well for both of us. Sam Alvey considers himself the smiliest guy in mixed martial arts. You know, we've heard about uh, the BMF belt, the McGregor belt. I mean, you're a pretty happy guy. Could this be for the smiley belt? For the smiley belt? No. Like, I'm the entertainer here, man. We can have an entertainment belt. We can have the sit there and be the, the, the ABC bachelor belt, but I don't want to take his title from him. He's had that forever. He shaves, he shaves a happy face in the back of his head. Like, he can have that. But he doesn't even need the belt. He has the, you know, the haircut. Um, you know what would be funny, though? Like, I, I, like I, know, I know how Sam Allen is going to play this. I think it would be funny if you put MC on his chest, like shaved MC on his chest, try to get him ahead. But I bet you a billion he's going to walk out to a Taylor Swift song. But little did he you know, I love Taylor Swift, too. If you all don't remember back in uh, – Back, oh man, back in 2018, I uh, took a photo with a cutout Instagram like handle. So it's like it has Instagram like cutout where it looked like I'm a photo, and it says uh, I asked Taylor Swift to be my Valentine, and she uh, did not respond to me. So, but I still love her, you know. And last thing for me, um, for someone who hasn't seen The Bachelor, could you give me sort of the 30 second elevator pitch on what it's about and why you'd be the perfect star for it? The Bachelor is where you take a single man, a hopeless romantic, and you put him in a house full of a number of beautiful women. And all those women try to compete to be with that one man. And why I would be great is because the typical bachelors are millionaires or they have a, a lot of money and these girls always want to be on the money. That's cool. But they try to act normal. They try to make everything cute and blah, blah. 
No, I'm going to sit there and go joker style, and the first thing I'm going to do is break a pool stick and say, we only got one position. Who's going to take it? <laughs> and let's see how they react. That's what I'm going to do. I make TV. TV is what I'm made for, and uh, ABC is definitely going to love my type of uh, humor. I'm going to take the belt for the corniest question asked. Uh, did uh, Miley's song choice choices for the, the final four, did they hit you like a wrecking ball, or were they uh, iffy choices? <laughs> <laughs> so you liked them. Uh, just one, one, uh, one back to the fight week. What I know you said all the right things about Sam, and you're you're enjoying the fact that he's going to come forward and throw bombs. But what at the end of the day, what needs to happen to make sure that you get your arm raised uh, in victory? Man, what needs to happen? That, that's a, a very unique question because you know we could sit there and say Jupiter needs to hover beside Venus or. Uh, Pluto needs to become a planet like there's all these different things that you can say that would happen it's not what needs to happen it's what I need to do is when I need to show up and go after it you know Sam is a type of person that is a fighter he's a veteran he's hard to put out and he's a he's a tough athlete in himself but I need to just go out there and go take it like I did in the Maki fight I took the third round difference I was just trying to find my footing and trying to figure out where I was in that fight and I figured it out and that's all that needs to happen I just show up I'll show up it may not be in round one or it may be in round one maybe in round three but you're gonna see me in there and you're gonna realize ooh, golly best of luck are we it that's it you guys kick me out Julián, para, la gente, para tus uh, fanaticada latina, ¿qué esperamos del cubano de la misile crisis este sábado? ¿Tú puedes mover el máscara para yo no puedo oír? Oh, discúlpame, felicidades, gracias por llegar a este punto de tu carrera. Y para tus fanáticos latinos, ¿qué podemos esperar de Julián Márquez este sábado, quien representa a los cubanos en el octágono? Siempre los cubanos son con mi familia, son míos, son en el sangre y todo es hispánico. Yo estoy representando todo es hispánico, toda la gente que nació en, en otro país que siempre está trabajando para otra vida, para uh, trabajando para para merojando el, el, el viva el, el, ellos, el, para la familia. Um, eso que yo estoy peleando para todo eso. Los hispánicos son el más trabajadores aquí en este país y en el mundo. Y yo estoy representando todo eso. Porque la cubano siempre te va a subir. La cubano son el tiburón de tierra. ¿Ok? Y yo soy el tiburón de tierra y hoy, a este sábado, yo voy a comer. ¿Qué esperamos, amigo? Porque tenemos, hemos tenido a Ricardo Lamas, Jorge Masvidal, a Joel Romero, los que todavía no conocen a, a Julian, ¿por qué no? ¿Qué necesitamos para que llegues al, al próximo, a la próxima etapa de ser la próxima estrella del octágono? Tú estás hablando de toda la gente que tiene peleas como 10 o más peleas en el UFC. Yo tengo tres, este se va a hacer el cuatro. Ponlo al frente de la cámara, ponme en el octágono, en la jaula, y tú vas a conocer el nombre de Julián Márquez. De acuerdo, men. Esperamos que puedas finalizar a tu oponente o nos des 15 minutos de guerra contra tu contrincante este sábado. Sí, este sábado yo voy a terminar la pelea. No, no importa. Antes de 15 minutos yo voy a terminar la pelea. Yo voy a, a, yo voy a, a hacer que la gente quiere la hacer. Yo quiero para terminar, la gente quiere para terminar. Yo gente, la gente quiere Julián Márquez para subir el brazo. Uh, toda la gente quiere para yo ganar. Y yo también. Yo puedo usar todo ese energy, energía para esa pelea este uh, sábado. Recuérdenme, muchas gracias y saludos. Gracias. All right, boys, girls, later.